Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. So in today's video, I want to just show you how to trade M and W pattern trading. So I'm in my trade view and I want to show you how to actually be seeing the W formation, the M formation and the importance of seeing these patterns to ease your trading. One thing you need to understand is that W pattern is a formation on a price chart that indicates a bullish reversal after a downtrend. So whenever you see a W pattern formation, you're looking for a bullish um, entry. The pattern is used to help traders identify changes in the market's uh, sentiment. So when you, whenever we have a W formation, most probably the bearish uh, pattern or the bearish market is almost reversing and the bullish market is uh, taking place the key is to focus the key focus for a trader is to be successful uh, to check on the trend supply and demand if you are able to read those key things in your charts you will be ahead of most other traders so as you can see our trade this is how the chart looks like and most of the time the m and w formation does not happen every day or every time but whenever you just um spot a w or an m formation it will be best for you so uh, the first thing you need to understand when you open your chart you need to understand what is the trend what is the trend what is the chart telling you because if you don't know about the trend you may even not be able to see the m pattern or the w pattern so an uptrend is defined by price making high highs and high lows so we can imagine uptrend let me show you an uptrend this is an uptrend you see so an uptrend is a defined is defined by price making higher highs and higher lows so the price came and made higher highs and higher lows so uh, let me take my brush and show you so the price came up then it had a pullback it made a high low then it made a higher high then it made a high low then uh, it's like it had a consolidation then made a high high then a high low and then continue moving until it reached this place so you can imagine the price is making higher highs and higher lows that's the first thing to identify a, um, a, an uptrend and also you can use you can use trend line you can come here and use a trend line and as far as the the price is above the trend line that is an uptrend so uh first you need to identify the uptrend or the trend of the market and i've told you how we identify an uptrend let's go to downtrend how do we identify a downtrend let me look for a downtrend okay now a downtrend a downtrend is a price making lower higher lower lower lows and lower highs in this case the lower highs are the most important to check upon so if i take my brush the price is making lower lowers lower lows and lower highs so the price is moving down then has having a like a carry test pullback then the price moved down again uh retest or pullback it moves again a uh, uh, pullback moves again pullback moves so and this is how you identify a downward trend so if you are able to identify a downward trend it will be so easy for you to know what how to to understand or how to even see the m and w formation now you know about an upward trend this is the upward trend this is the downward trend and also, you can use trend line to guide you. So if at all you can identify an upward trend, you can identify a downward trend. Remember, an upward trend is making higher highs and higher lows. So our next step, uh, it is important that you don't fight the trend. For example, if the buyers were... If you find this market already up, don't try to enter at this position. Because what happens if you try to chase the trend, sometimes it will put you at a negative and you will feel like closing the trade or you will stay at so much time without entering in profit. So what you do, you wait for the market to pull back. So this is a secret I've noticed. The market can, it, it always pulls back. Let's delete that. 
you can see we had an uptrend here so this was an uptrend so wait the market to pull back wait the market to pull back and come back so when it pull back here and uh, i use 20 ma to even help me you can use even um you can use trend line or 20 ma if it pull back now enter this time if it goes up don't chase the market so it is important that you don't find the trend identify it and trade with it at the proper entry levels and supply supply and demand so where is the demand where is the supply so as a trader you need to understand is this trend making higher highs and higher lows and if it is making high highs and higher lows where is the pullback and then you enter this place so your entry should be like this place you should enter at this place so that your stop loss should be very minimum and maybe your take profit should be there and in just few hours you will hit your take profit so now you understand about that now let's see how to identify w formation the minute you know about the trend you know how to read if it is uptrend if it is downtrend if i see this chart already you can see this is a w formation you see that's a w so how does w formation pattern works so you first have one the first leg the second leg and the third leg never trade a w formation if you don't have if you don't have three legs this is one this is two and this is the third one so this is the first one no mm -mm. so this is the first one the first leg the second one is here and then the third leg until we have this the third leg don't put a buy position so we can come here and try to put a buy position remember your stop loss should be at the lowest of the last swing low and then your take profit should be anything that you want mostly for w formation you come and you come to the to this place you can draw even um you can draw let's say you can draw a horizontal line to see where you are take profit will be so this is your first leg your second leg your third leg then you're putting your buy position at this place this is your stop loss immediately just below the last swing high swing low sorry then your take profit should be exactly at this horizontal line sometimes w formation can reach the other top it's not a must but if you want to take uh to push the market this is a ratio of uh one is to three so you can just put it there so that's the w formation so uh let's see if we can see other w formation and how it is and then uh, we will go to m formation so the first thing you need to understand is that if you understand the trend uh, you know the w formation just wants to it's like a reversal remember this was the the sellers were in control then the buyers the this this high didn't remove this so the sellers were in control then this low didn't remove this uh, that should give you a an entry of this is our first leg the second leg the third leg so this is like a w formation let me show you an m formation let's see an m formation so this is a good example of an m formation so if we take our mark and we go up we've made our first top we came down made another first second top then we came down so this is our m so if you are if you want to trade m formation we are looking for sell opportunity we are looking to short the market so what we do you can see the buyers came to this point they try to raise the price then the sellers were introduced but did not were not able to even take the market anywhere then again the buyers took the price but this low did not remove this low eventually we have three legs we have one two three and the third leg is what shows us that this can be an m formation so one thing you need to understand is that you need to have um three legs don't 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 predict in in trading we don't predict we react to the 
market don't predict if the market starts going down and then it comes back and say maybe this is a name or it starts going let's say you find the market here let's say you find the market at this point at this point you can't say i'll just short the market you have to wait for an indication and you saw this candlestick formation means that there is a reversal and immediately you will put your short position at this point uh take a stop loss just above the swing high then take profit remember like i told you you have a horizontal line where the first leg started you see this is our first leg so you can take your take profit at that exactly and guys i have seen this works magic on my trades whenever i come to look my chart i try to look for w formation so this is w let's just mark this is w formation and then let's continue uh, marking So we have W formation. Let's let's look for another W formation or W or M. So can just we are trying to check for W formation. They don't happen every day, but when you spot them, they are the easiest ways of trading. So we have we have this one, this one, but it was short. This is an M formation another M formation uh, okay so guys if you and you start seeing the W's and the M's it becomes so visible on your chart so we have again a W for a name formation you can see this is one leg first leg second leg that leg so at the third leg that's where we are putting a sell so our stop loss is somewhere there then our take profit immediately at this place you see that's where the market started so we take your horizontal line mark that's where your take profit is very simple another m so these are the charts these are patterns that you see in your charts every day if you start paying more attention on on m and w formation your trading will start becoming so easy and uh, you'll be able to see how to trade all this mw formation guys if you have any other question kindly comment down below let me know if you chart the w or m formation in your trading how is it is it hard is it easy to see it and if you want me to continue doing this kind of videos comment down below thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye love you